were tipping points in World War II where the outcome was pretty well determined, but what was in question was how long it would take and at what cost. This is one of those squishy topics where there's not a clear right or wrong answer, just a lot of opinions. And when it comes to the war in Europe, here's mine. The success of D-Day on June 6, 1944, meant that Germany could no longer win the war. In June of 44, Germany had about two-thirds of their divisions fighting the Soviets in the east, and they were losing. The remainder were spread across Europe, holding the line in Italy and preparing for an Allied invasion, probably in France. Before D-Day, German leadership could tell themselves that maybe the invasion won't happen, and if it does, maybe we'll push it back into the sea. Both unlikely, but who knows? And if either of those are true, Germany can reallocate resources to the east, might not be enough to change course, but it's gonna have some impact. But once the Allies landed and established a foothold, Germany was fighting a defensive war on three fronts, outnumbered in each. Any realistic chance of victory was long gone.